is a video tutorial on swirling spheres. This design is being sponsored by How to Piece Perfect Quilts, an ebook and video series designed to teach you how to piece your quilts perfectly. Learn more about this ebook and video series at daystyledesigns.com. Now let's get back to swirling spheres. This design starts with a wiggly line and then you're going to kind of swirl into a large circular shape. You're going to stitch inside of this circle and you're going to completely fill it with matrix. So just simply stitch a wiggly line, then travel stitch and echo this line until it fills one entire side of the circle. And you want to just be simply careful to maintain uh, even stitch length, you know, even stitch distance between these lines so that way uh, inside each sphere is kind of a consistent set of lines. Now you're going to just simply travel stitch to the other side and finish it up as well. And you know, if you wanted to, you could just leave it like this with just one set of wavy lines and that would look really interesting. Or you can go ahead and complete the matrix by stitching across with another set of wavy lines going across the circle. And this creates a kind of a wiggly grid that is matrix. So the design itself is fitting matrix into the circular shape and then you're going to swirl around it and this is a variation of Poseidon's eye. In Poseidon's eye we just simply swirled around a circle and left that circle empty. And you could easily do that and it creates kind of a different look to the design. In this situation we're filling that circle completely and it's making it stand out so much darker. You can see how heavy the thread is as I travel stitch around. And now the next step is to simply echo this. I'm stitching all the way around and back down to my starting point. And then I'm going to travel stitch again and swirl up around it. I'm going to do this several times so that this one swirling sphere really stands out against the quilt. Uh, on the surface of the quilt. So it looks like it's almost like a planet surrounded by kind of a swirling atmosphere. Maybe the swirling cosmos is kind of the idea where this whole design came from. It is intricate and it is detailed but it's a lot of fun and it looks amazing. This design is going to work great on the open, more uncomplicated areas of your quilt. You wouldn't want to try and squish these circles and spheres or try and stitch matrix into the complex areas of your quilt. Of course you can see right here I'm stitching kind of a half of a sphere so that way it fits in evenly with this area and fills up that little uh, kind of odd area on the side of the quilt. And you might have to do that occasionally, but for the most part I'd really aim to have your circles at least an inch, if not bigger, an inch in diameter. So here you can see I'm just simply stitching another sphere. And you can kind of play around with it. Uh, look at globes and kind of what makes a globe look spherical, what makes it look 3D. And try and stitch your lines so that way it extends that shape. I'm always trying to create 3D images with 2D lines and it's really fun to experiment with with this design. And you can see how those swirling lines going around each sphere, re sphere really makes them stand out and kind of adds um, a little bit more texture to the design. Uh, it does, stops it from just being a whole bunch of circles and grids. You know, the, really the wavy lines I think are what make this design so beautiful. So keeping all that in mind, here's what it looks whenever you finish swirling spheres. For over 250 videos on free motion quilting, including Poseidon's Eye and Matrix, two awesome designs from the Free Motion Quilting Project, go to daystyledesigns.com or freemotionquilt.com.